afternoon guys welcome back to my channel don't forget to like and sub uh and share i just thought i just came across this reddit thing oh my god it's brilliant it's it's absolutely hilarious sorry phone just went on its side <sighs> sorry guys come on no that's not gonna work Oh, Lord. Right, we're back. I have no idea what happened then. I'm sorry. Right, okay, so this is what Reddit put out. I don't know when because I can't see a date on it, but maybe at the bottom, maybe I didn't look properly. But I just thought we'd go over some things. So this is going to be a long one. Katie started off writing for Patheos. Um, originally, she wrote about her son's medical condition. Then she became an atheist and joined those YouTube circles which uh steve mr atheist etc etc um whilst katie was in a atheist phase a youtuber named steve mcgray i probably fucked that name up apologies no you didn't oh you did yeah you just need to take a c out it's fine minor details invited her to the channel um to a stream shortly after steve's youtube partner kyle who's coming second on Dumbfuck of the Year, kicked kicked him off his own channel and stole, and stole 60 plus and ran. Katie believed Kate, um, Katie believed Kyle. Of course she would. She helped cover it all up. Steve sued Kyle and got his YouTube channel back. Katie accused Steve of sexual assault, which is disgusting for any woman to claim that when it's not damn true. That just pisses me off. Um... There are screenshots on the um, from the conversation, yeah. Literally, there's so many going around. You can have a look on my YouTube, Steve's. Steve was on about that somebody was hot as fuck. And she said, yeah, she's got a nice set of tits. So, I'm not sure who was being sexually inappropriate there, but whatever. We'll... I digress. We'll go back. Um, so, Steve did so and he did get back his channel. Obviously, it's going to take a lot for him to get it back up to where it should be and up and running, etc. Um, Katie then retracted her ac uh, accusations of her defence in Kyle in, a, in an apology, which was later removed. I don't think he was even up like two days before she removed it. The apology queen. Um, Steve tried to use the apology and it was hit with a copyright strike. Basically that we couldn't watch it here in the UK. People in the US could still watch it. But... He, they also struck Steve's, um, or tried to strike, I'm not sure if they did or not, tried to, Steve's drive to try and help um, Leslie with funds. Oh, am I going this way? Sorry. Um, so fast forward to Amber. We all know about the Amber. We all know that she shot up into fame, got a fuckload of subs because of these releases, which, if I'm honest, I still don't know how or why anyone from that side of the fan family and i'm doing bunny ears here because i still believe and truly believe that it was andrew would give a nobody on youtube like literally she was a nobody she had like nine thousand subs i believe or something ridiculous so enter leslie leslie is a super super sweet lady right she's just she's so cute she's literally she's so nice there's no snarkiness but, of course, Katie doesn't like the competition, which you can read here. Enter Matt. Can I just say on the Enter Matt bit? Matt the Rat. I can't. I can't. It's just too bad. But I get it. I get it. Okay. Matt entered, and Matt actually told Katie to pass the stuff on to Leslie, which she refused to do for about two weeks. After then, it was only on the live chat that he stated on live can you please pass my details over to Leslie? Did that actually happen? So just as a little bit. Um, but she she does. She gets mad. And oh my God. The, he's my friend first. Oh, fuck my life. Are we in fucking junior school? Because that's not even high school. Not even high school no. That is like junior school. Come on, people. I don't think even my nephews and niece say that. And they're tiny. He was my friend first. Oh, God. All right, so here's where it goes fuzzy for the 
um, his razor was fuzzy. She didn't sell, but she did, and admits to it here. So you can go to Reddit and click on any of the links. Um, during this debacle, Kate and a hatter by the name of Rue started doxing each other. Katie releases full names, addresses, etc. Rue just released info that was already yeah that was that was just disgusting. And just as an FYI, I don't think that video was actually Rue. Didn't it come out that it wasn't even Rue that did that video? You have to let, let me know in the comments, guys, if that if it is, if I'm There's right. No, the the main Rue, not the Rue hate and the Rue beer and the Rue drunk and just the Rue, the normal original Rue. I don't think that on that video is her. Anyway, so there's all that there. We all, we've all seen it. We all know what it's like. Um, Katie admits that Rue and the Ashley are, are her sources and nearly fucking die of laughter. Her source is a fucking TV guide. She always checks the Ashley. Yes, she wants to she wants to better the Ashley. She wants to try and beat the Ashley, which is it's not gonna work. Like, come on, seriously. Okay, so at this point now, K KJ Mod started to jump shit, namely Kendra and Brittany. Um so basically Kendra is the one that had the screenshots um of KJ asking if she knew how to go about buying bots to mass report we already know that that's a true it's been clarified 100 percent true okay so there's there's no dispute in that Brittany, um then i think she was a mod for about a month um there are some sort of betweens on what Brittany says to what other mods says. I think um, at the beginning she was fine with the mods. And I think the mods that are coming out now are more from the beginning. So I don't think that we can say that Brittany's lying or Brittany's exaggerating. Because I think at each time people were mods, the rules was different, if that makes sense. So although we cannot 100% prove that um katie made um let me try and think of something oh hang on katie um said that they had to um pay and buy and send super chats and stuff but i do i do believe Brittany, and i don't believe for one second even though other mods have said differently i think that she had different mods for different things so that's just my opinion and that's what i believe Okay, so she started doing um, IG Lives. This is sort of a really good time span, actually, to sort of go through it all. Um, Katie uploads a live when she goes live on LB because, I quote, Matt was my friend first. Boo fucking who. I love Reddit. God, my life. Um, Katie uploaded a live where she goes off on LB because, I quote, Matt was my friend first. She sounds like a fucking idiot and rightly got dragged for it 100 percent, rightfully so he was my friend first i can't i literally can't um this is this then goes on about the um bits where kj and lb um sort of got into it and um obviously there's again go to reddit there's all the channels and everyone um, team room shade room she she got battered like she somebody was on about her race what the fuck has her race got to do with whether she likes team mum or whether she can say anything on team mum just as i did i got a, because i'm because i'm from uk oh i'm sorry people black and uk not allowed to watch and just as an fyi the shit um team room shade room is actually white black and indian i believe sorry if i'm wrong but i think it was that what, three that you said but whatever she just wants to people obviously wants to use things um uni rock oh love uni rock right so uni rock i do strongly suggest you go back and watch the first one that he does because i swear he was so switzerland it was unbelievable he was trying to stay so neutral. He wasn't saying that this was factual. He wanted proof. And on that first video, he said, um, 
and it's not word for word because I can't remember what it said word for word, but it was something along the lines of, we can find out if this is true. We can do a split screen with this person. She can go in, show the messages. Um, Unirock can take out anything that she doesn't want there. So it was very, you know, black and white. It was very easy to do. Straight after, what did Katie do? Yep. Took her blame Facebook away. Oh, the P gates. I can't even. I can't even. Like, seriously. P gate. Who on a live. Okay, firstly, goes and pees. I get it. Do you know what I mean? Say I was on a long live and I needed to pee. I would be like, here, talk to my husband a minute, people. And I would go and have a wee, flush a chain, wash my hands. She's not even. She didn't even, like, close the door. She certainly didn't wash her hands, a dirty bitch. Like, Ew, icky, disgusting, gross. Um, where are we on? Sorry, I've got, I lost them. Okay, this is on about flossy, flossy. Um, son Abe, as we all know, tragically passed away. And. Although we haven't got 100% proof on no screenshots, I think we can all say that we're very up high there in the 90s. I think all it takes now is for the person whose video, um, whose screenshots or who she was talking to just needs to come forward and get that, get that out. Because I think that's the only way now. And that needs to happen for for everyone not just for katie because rightly or wrongly whether these are fake or true flossy's still in the middle of this either katie said something despicable or someone thought about that and still wrote it so either way she's she's got to read those words and to her it's, it's probably quite irrelevant where the hell they came from they're just disgusting words so I, I do believe that needs to be sorted and that needs to be 100% AP, ASAP, because it needs to be done. Um, it's on on about, like, Steve's, um, about the releasing the DMs. Unirox invites Katie to hear her side, which she says on a million times that he hadn't done, and he has. She's a liar. Um, but she blocks him, again, all on Unirock's channel. It's Unirock. You can see how it's spelt there. And it's got a two, I think, is um, Unirock's channel. Go on, but if you go and watch, watch from the beginning. There is a massive six-hour stream. And it can be quite confusing in, in there because it was a long time. But even if you just miss that one and then go to the next one, you'll see, you'll catch up. Do you know what I mean? Because Unirock did a the next day because he knew that one just went on for so long. But it was... It was still, it's, if you've got the time or you can do it whilst you're cooking or something and have a listen. Bits. Yeah, it is really worth having a listen to. Um, so, yeah, Katie now basically, as we all know, she's on a rebranding mission, which I called how many days ago or weeks ago I said that she's just going to rebrand. She's going to close everything down. She's going to rebrand. She's going to be like, haha, there's nothing you can do. I'm smarter than you. And it's just not the case. It's really, really not the case. Because we can still prove that it was her. This just makes her look even more guilty in my eyes. It's craziness. Uh, yes. The joy that is Todd. He is so disgusting. Like, seriously, who says... I Firstly, I would be so mad if my husband come in and, like, started getting involved in, like, petty little dramas on YouTube or on Facebook and called two ladies that done nothing a pair of See You Next Tuesdays, I would be mad. I'd be like, what, what are you thinking? That's not okay to say. And then when he held up on it and somebody told him, like, what the hell, he went, I can do what the F I want. She... Um, go and lay to buy a bowl or something to those words. I don't know if they were the correct words, but go and lay by your bowl. Basically meaning she's a dog. She's so disgusting. Uh, what are we doing now? Apparently Matt was in one of Katie's subscribers' DMs on Snapchat and tried to get... Yeah, I'm not convinced about that whole Matt thing. I'm really not. 
like I don't know what you bet you guys let me know in the comments you all like believe or do not believe okay this is where I stand on it do I think Matt can be like that yeah but on the same token I think that a lot of these girls messaged him tried to get in with him flirting with him he's a guy just like any he's human if somebody's coming on to you and they're offering it on a silver platter, he's going to say yes. Sorry, but that's just the case that it is. I don't get the issue. Was he not single, basically? Yeah, he's time? single. So I don't get the point. There is no point. Yeah, I don't get it. They're both adults. She could have blocked him and stopped at any time. I'm sorry, I don't I don't care. Did, was there a statement of her saying to him, no. I'm not interested? No, she carried it on. She was going back and forth with him. No. Um. So the... So literally now we just need like the screenshots to come out so that we can know 100% put money on it. Although I'm, I'm there. I'm there already. My husband just said the same thing. You know, we're there already. We already know. But that's just our views and our opinions. I would love to hear yours. I will come and read all the comments and I will chat. Um, if you could please like and subscribe i would be very much appreciative and if you could really share because we really need to get it back up to a thousand so i can live stream easier because this is just a nightmare okay guys i shall speak to you soon bye love you So, your husband can call people the C word. I'll call anybody the C word, because I don't give a shit. If, if, if people are coming, coming after my wife, and, and saying shit about my wife, and bringing our son into this bullshit, I'll call you whatever the fuck I want to call you. My husband so, is so chill. Yeah, looks like it. Dumbass. Ooh. Somebody said the C word. Oh my god. <gasps> the C word. Oh. But she's okay with her husband using the R word and then justifies because she's country and she's not offended by it. Okay. Go fucking lay down by your dish. Shut up. Uh, oh. You're disgusting. Leslie and Blossie have been dragging my little son into this. No, they haven't. They have You've been, been dragging your son into a dumbass. They have been making you guys think that I have Munchausen's by You do. Oh, my God. I can't even. Because you stood your motherfucking ground and fucking haters, they can all fuck off. Look, I was look, I'm looking all a hot mess because these people <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> Well girl, those people, what the fuck what is wrong with that dude Steve? Or whatever his name is. And these people make it cause you know I've sent you those messages and stuff. I'm like, who the hell are those people? You're like, I don't even know. Yeah. But they all gonna hate. Fuck him. Let him drink that hate rain. I know, right? and, I and, they, and they respond to you guys on Twitter constantly. Like, anything that you guys say, they respond to you. Yes. They get, and you guys get messages in your inbox from these people. Yeah, I get inbox messages on YouTube. <laughs> what a cunt are you? That's what they tell me, that I'm a cunt. I'm like, okay. Because you I'm like cool. me. Yeah. Because I fight, because I defend you, because I am going to defend you, because when other people are ganging up on you because you are having success, yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, and then I want to horses, you guys. Um, yeah, it's me, Katie Joy, like. I've got so many sources, you guys. Yeah, I've got, like, so many sources. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. Let's talk about 
Janelli, okay? Yeah. I get all my information from Rue, the puppy dog. Yeah, she and I like this. We're like super tight. Yeah. Yeah. I've got so many sources. Shut up, you damn kid. You guys that follow her are so, you guys are so naive and you're so easily swayed. I feel like her whole intention was to get clout from my channel, to get subscribers, and then when that didn't work, she decided to go after me, and then she, when her channel got shut down for copyright, then she decided to blame me. I can't talk to Leslie because Leslie twists everything. Leslie will take every screenshot that I send to her, and she'll crop it and send it out to you. Leslie will illegally record me on the phone every time i've tried to talk to her on the phone she record i mean the first time i ever tried to talk to her on the phone she was recording me before i even answered the phone she said i'm recording you i will never talk on the phone to her because she'll record me and i will never go live with her not once nope this is not appropriate for a public discussion so i'm done leslie Stop lying. I saw the receipts. It's copyright. Just quit. I have tried to talk to you so many times. I'm just so done. I care if I'm recorded because Leslie will pull crap out. She is one of those girls that will pull it all out to use to her advantage to twist, just like she's twisting this mass report crap, which didn't happen. That's why I won't, I won't talk to her on the phone because she'll record it. And I don't play with people that do that kind of stuff. So I'm done, guys. Bye.